Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere modded. Let's get going, guys, and build our blackjack because we got a nice new medium mech that I want to definitely bring to the battlefield. There is a two mission operation, however, in difficulty seven. Let me quickly take a look at that. We can get a crazy amount of money out of that by just being here and doing it. Also, good salvage. Maybe we should just quickly get it. I mean, it's a, it's a demolition and a raid mission. And the uh, damage that we take in the mission parts, uh, I don't think we have to actually repair them in between. So we're going to take all of our mechs, take a rather low tier mission, but we have no time to repair in between, which kind of gives us a challenge anyway. So I, I would say we're going to play that. Get the javelin ready, get the hunchback ready, and then, of course, the rifleman. And... You know what? I think this is what we do. All right, so I cannot just leave 4 million sea bills on the table here, as well as some actually quite good salvage. So we'll take that. Uh, and then we have a bit of damage coverage as well. Sure, why not? Let's get going. Haha, -ha! the problem here is that we are slightly over tonnage. That makes things more difficult or easier. Actually, I think I'm fine with that. So demolition first, which means uh, we're going to take... May we might want to just take the commando for it. Wait, how fast are you? 97? 97? Oh, uh, sh sure. I'll take the commando. We're gonna leave the rifleman home. No. We're gonna leave the hunchback home. Sure. You're gonna take the rifleman here. And I think this is how we're gonna start. Alrighty, guys. That's gonna be awesome. Let's, uh... Actually, is this thing still running jump jets? I don't think so. No. Let's go. 12 days. It should be fine, guys. It should be fine. So, we are running the Commando because it has some pretty good damage output in uh, close quarter combat. It's really good to run into the into the base, demolish everything. And I, I really hope that our friends are supporting us with some long-range fire, especially the Rifleman. And then there's also the Javelin that, you know, might help us out with uh, dealing some damage to turrets that are close range and demolishing the base as well. So, let's go. It's also a rather small map with only 9 square kilometers. Yeah, here we are already. Let's do it, guys. 900 meters. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna grind the money here, by the way, for you to know, um, so that I can buy more weapon systems. I want to check all of them out. There are so many crazy new weapon systems that, uh, you know, that need testing. So let's do exactly that. Uh, we have a helicopter and a light mech. And another helicopter. Hello, Irby. We have a hidden object? Alright, that's pretty good. Wait, this is not the base that we're in, right? Nah, we're not yet in the base, but we have a hidden object. Or do we? I don't know. Does that take away from the base? It does. I don't know. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take that carry out. Oh, by the way, I did not mod yet. I, I did not add any other mods to the game uh, because I just didn't have the time to sit down and look at it. It's just that. All right, Urbi. Uh, oh, that's bad. That's an auto cannon 10 burst fire. What? I was not even pressing that button. What's going on? What is going on, guys? I wasn't shooting. What? Uh, okay. Alright, let's take those guys out real quick. I mean, I was shooting now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's get out of here real quick. I, I need to get some distance between me and the enemies. That shutdown was so damn unfortunate. Alright, let's keep smashing, guys. We have 11%. This mech doesn't cool either. <laughs> Alright, Irby is basically down. He comes to VTOL again. We'll take him as well. And then it's gonna be Urbo. Alright, Urbo is gonna punch out now. We're gonna take the last remaining parts of this. Alright, and we're gonna go home. <laughs> I mean, the Commander is not in a good spot here. But I think we're not using it next run anyway. That means I'm gonna run the Hunchback, we have the Javelin, and then the Rifleman to help us out as well. Oh god. <laughs> it's a pretty good start for a mission like that. Alright. So here we are. Let's get out of here. Mission success, Successful. It came here. with a little bit of a cost, but okay. So that was the demolition part of it. I mean, ideally I want to play something in a 
20 to 30 bracket in terms of difficulty. I think this is where we are comfortable right now, especially when we are actually taking the bigger mechs that have more firepower, like the Hanshi, like the Rifleman, and so on. Maybe even the Blackjack. We'll see. We are respected. We get a chemical small laser. We have 18 picks that are probably not going to be filled at all. Yeah, it's fine. On a demolition mission, I don't expect much here. All right, let's continue. I'm going to take my hunchback now. You're going to keep the mechs that you are assigned to, I guess. Sure. Do we have a better ballistic pilot? You're pretty good. Yeah, I'll take you. Let's uh, go. <laughs> so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a raid. So we have to destroy several pieces of uh, terrain. Our objective is to mm -hmm. infiltrate and destroy a number of strategic assets. Proceed to the That's a lot of them. The Ooh, interesting. Warned, that is not only a lot of them; they are also alert. pretty close so together, which means that we will probably face some uh, some forces there at the same time. I mean, it might be only just tanks and VTOLs, maybe some turrets or a light mech, but all of them, if they come in together, uh, they can pose a threat to us. Um, yeah, uh, to our mechs and to our lands in general. Ah, better. Way better with the cooling. And we also got our Inferno SRMs here. Those Infernos are probably not gonna do so much, because, again, these are really good at overheating and uh, targeting mechs. But if we fight a lot of vehicles, which, which I assume is gonna happen here, and I, th I think they are not really that useful. But they will still deal some damage, so it's fine. It's going to be. Okay. So, the question is, how aggressive do we want to be? Do I want to cut across here in the canyon? But that would result in me being alone, and my friends probably not being able to, to catch up here, right? I want to do it anyway, because I honestly want to get out of these low-tier missions and get into higher-rated ones, so I can actually, again, have a challenge. I should be able to solo this anyway. So, again, let's cut across. Our friends are gonna have a bit of trouble getting down here, but I, I think there is something that we can, uh, you know, a little ramp that we can use. Like this one. Alright, shot cut. Yo, guys, you coming? Oh god, he is so confused. <laughs> it's fine, it's lower repair cost on the rifleman. Oh god. Are these guys stuck now? If you find the I think they are. Oh, wrong button. That's there we go. Ready to start pickup operation. So we got that thing. There's another one? Package. I will Point. take it. I will also take you. Oh yes, I will. And he's down, perfect. Yeah, there's, you know, some stuff here. Uh, what's that? It's a Scorpion. And we have a small laser turret. Alright, let's take that real quick and then we're gonna go. Take the tanks as well. So, another thing. That is not a scorpion, that was a carrier. Woo. These missiles are, again, not really dealing with too much damage, raw damage. I think we're gonna just go with the lasers here. Okay. Small lasers. Oh god, there's more. Target destroyed. My friends are coming, though, so that's nice. So far, so good. I think there was another tank hiding behind that building. So let's move in. Right, there's a turret at the very least shooting at me, and... Tango down, Tango down nice. Down. <laughs> Let's take it, I want to say. Right, we got him. And another turret right behind me. These turrets are everywhere. Right, we got him. Nice. And we got some friends around us. This is so helpful, having them. Because uh, all of these nasty tanks, they don't need much, but, you know, a shot from an autocannon 5 or some lasers will get the job done. So, next base. What the hell was that? You see the laser burns? That was crazy. I mean, do we have enough ammo? We should. We should have. There we go. Another one. I mean, they have a bunch of those tanks. So there's that. Um, the beacon is not quite destroyed yet. And there's another one. Let's go! Missiles! Uh, it's so slow-paced in the early game, it's crazy. So we walk through here. 
And then we're gonna destroy that thing as well. Nice. Let's go, guys. This is nice and chill, I gotta say. And I think we are actually on the last base. Oh, wait. Did we leave out one of them? Could be. Could actually be. We'll see. Alright, there's that. There's that. And if we destroy that and Rihanna says we can go home now, then that's it. Oh god. There we go. Destroy targets at all locations. So we were missing one. Alrighty. Let's turn around then. Hashtag quick mission, everybody. <laughs> Let's go. I don't even want to bother with those guys. I want to keep going and I want to keep smashing and, you know, get the mission done. Good shot there. Nice one, Rifleman. That was really good. How could I miss that? Or do we have to trigger this in order to get it done? I don't know. Maybe we... Yeah, there are still some satellite dishes. I was too eager to run. That's what was happening here. Nope. Too low. Too high. But that's okay. Yeah, again, this is no real damage. Let's rather concentrate on those things. So I get destroyed. And then there's one more. And now it's destroyed. Perfect. Let's get out of here, guys. You know, a little bit of recon, a little bit of easy movement here. Okay, so go back to Rihanna, and then we're gonna skip planet to some different areas. Good shot there. It's also pretty cool that my AI pilots are getting a little bit of training here on the battlefield. It's really nice. Get the VTOL down, and now Rihanna is here. And we have two support caches. Ooh, and a light mag. Hey, Firestarter. I would actually like to add a Firestarter to my lance. Let's do it. We also have another asset. Come on. Let me get you. Alright. We're also getting shot in the back? Why? Who did that? Was it a nasty scorpion or was it our rifleman doing some shit? I have no idea. Ouchie. I was I was not thinking that there was another enemy around. Excellent find, Commander. Right. Beginning so we got now. the fire starter headshot. I don't think it's gonna be salvageable. Not with the 18 picks that we have. Um, but yeah, we got three of those uh, supply caches and it's pretty pretty solid. Welcome back, Commander. Okay. Standby for extraction. Okay. Let's go. We need a bit more, I would say, raw damage to get those headshots quicker. It would be cool to just shut the enemies down and then go for headshots. So, Inferno missiles are pretty good. But we need, you know, a bit more pinpoint or maybe just another laser or two. So imagine that on, I don't know, something with five energy hard points or so. Like six maybe, all medium lasers. Let me see, we got a small laser and SRM ammo, as well as some man A. Actually, we can get the fire started, that's amazing! Alright, I definitely will replace the javelin here. Or maybe we just keep the starter. Aha, uh, now we can play the conspirators. Conspirators, Sylvan Vaughn, Eyes of Democracy. Okay, interesting. Can we do it already? We might. We might be able to do that. Um, sure, why the hell not? But first, guys, we have to go somewhere else, because there's a hero mech on market. I think I've seen that already, right? That was a... Uh, uh, cannot remember. It's been a while since I recorded this. Um, I think I've seen that already. You know what? I think I'm gonna go here. I've seen it and I decided against it. That's what I want to say. Let's go there. Uh, see if we want to buy something. Maybe we're gonna get another heavy mech? Another medium, maybe? We'll see. I think I wanna buy or build my blackjack, though, depending on the cost of it. But let's take a look. There's a freaking stalker. Oh, 3 FB, are you kidding me? Oh, I would love that thing. That thing comes with ECM. That's one of the best stalkers here. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. But it's so slow. It only runs 48 kph. How do we do that? Are we even doing it? I mean, what we need is a million seabills. We're just gonna scrap some of our mechs and we have a freaking ECM stalker. It's such a good asset. 
I think I need to. We're gonna skip medium max altogether. Uh, we're, go we're gonna go into the higher tier sections right away. Alright, guys. That's what we're gonna be doing. So, <laughs> let's go battle max. Uh, I'm gonna sell... What am I gonna sell here? I want the commando gone. Goodbye, commando. 500,000. And I honestly want to keep the fire starter. What does it cost me to build that thing? To just repair it? It's 300. It's definitely better than the javelin. Oh, and, and by the way, you guys uh, made me aware that this is just a raw energy slot, so I can put something like that in the mech. So, sizes don't matter anymore, giggity. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the technique, the, the technique that matters. Which means... I can actually get big ballistics on the rifleman if I wanted to. And, you know, medium energy in here. This could be a 6 medium laser boat. This might be a 6 medium laser boat. Which is better than a 4 medium laser boat earlier. Right, let's see if we can make that happen, alright? Just want to check it out. Chem lasers would also be an option here. Okay. Those are flamers. Um, we got three tons for cooling. No, we got five tons for cooling. If those are all doubles, that is a build, everybody. We could play that. We could let that play by an AI pilot. Will cost us 300,000 seabells and 50 days, which is a lot of time. But... And we have to bring uh, some doubles here. Certainly. Difficult. How do we manage it? I mean, my priority is the stalker. Hands down. So what if we sell that thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Will we keep the fire starter or do we go directly to the blackjack? So sell the javelin, sell the fire starter, pick up stalker. This guy is also headshot, so repair is not that much. 64 kph is pretty solid. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. So repair all. Uh, we'll drop the peeps. Max armor. That thing also has six energy hard points. It comes with double heat sinks even. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so... I mean, it's better than the starter, right? Starter is a bit faster, but... This is a blackjack. It has more weight to work with. And 64 is perfect. So yeah, we're gonna sell the starter, we're gonna sell the javelin. And we're gonna play like that. Okay, here we go. Um, goodbye, fire starter. Goodbye, Javelin. Do I need to get something out of here? I don't know. Put it back to cold storage, bring it back, sell it now, and have a good time with it. So now we have 11 million sea bills. Let's see what we can do with that. I will definitely need to build that thing. But again, it is fine. Absolutely. Let's drop the jumps. I'm not really keen on using them, honestly. And I'm thinking, hmm, that I want one PPC here. The rest is just medium lasers. We have some double heat sinks, and we're gonna fill it up with singles. This is a mech that just runs, or is run by an AI pilot. Get him like 10 back armor, rest is front. Oh, this is such a good mech early on. It is a very solid one. It takes 300,000 seabills away again, but that's perfectly fine. Um, thing is, we have a little bit of an odd number here. I think I'm comfortable with 22 or something. Drop another point of the legs and I think we are good. So guys, that's gonna be our blackjack. It has one PPC for long range engagements. I hope that they can, you know, snatch some, snatch some flyers out of the air or, you know, crush a tank with it and then the rest is medium lasers. The other option would be, I mean, we have a lot of single heat sinks here. I'm gonna make it all singles. I need the doubles on the stalker, I believe. Um, the other option would be going for those continuous uh, beam lasers, the large ones. Dropping a PPC and the medium laser. Dropping two more heat sinks. Actually, yeah, two more. And then get the, la the large lasers in here. I don't know how the AI would fire with that. I'll take that. It's a, you know, it's a classic build. Let's do it. Cool. Now, huh. Let's go to the mech market and buy ourselves a freaking stalker. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the best stalkers you can find. Because it, it just has the Guardian ECM. That, that's it. It also comes with the doubles. <gasps> okay. Alright. That's fair. ER Larges? LRM Artemis? What is going on? 
Holy shit. I just put the, the lurms in the leg and the, the ammo. What can I say? Other than we have a freaking stalker now. Ah, I love it. So armor wise, we are all slightly low. Can I buy Artemis um, half? Yeah, I can. Let's buy another one and another one. And I want a corrosive. Okay, cool. The corrosives give us a bit of, bit of a better cooling. Because I think the guy needs it. Uh, Alright, um, hmm. Problem is... I, I want a half a ton of ammo. I'll drop one double because we just added a corrosive. That's fine. Yeah, there is now. Hmm. I want that maxed out. I want definitely more head armor. It's not quite maxed out. We're gonna go to 67 on the legs. Now we are one ton over. <laughs> Drop a double. Have slightly less cooling, but it's okay. I would say that's a build that we can run. Absolutely. Get that to 12 as well. And guys, we have a stalker. <laughs> so, with that being said, our lands grew a big time. Let's go ahead and, uh, I would say just repair that thing. Ah, we have a corrosive destroyed and the double strength destroyed. We gotta be careful with those because the corrosives, uh, also, if they crit, they deal a lot of damage to you internally. Let's repair all. And we don't have any doubles lying around right now, but there will be some coming out of the uh, Black Jack. So that's gonna be okay. Sure. Okay, the rest is just a battlefield refit that we're gonna do. Oh my god, let's go for Cantina missions. We have two slots open. Collect the Jenna, collect the Cicada, collect an Urban Mech, collect the Vulcan. What do we get here? Just looking at the rewards. Auto cannon. Yeah. Collect small lasers. Jump jets? That's a thing we can actually do. Auto cannon too, that's a lot. Machine guns. I mean, treasure hunter. Kill missile carriers. Sure, I'll go with that. And I'm gonna get some jump jets tier 5. We might even have that done already. Uh, no, we have three out of eight, but it's okay. Let me take a look at pilots. I mean, those are good, but we have okay pilots. I think uh, when we are getting into the area of uh, 40 or 50 uh, maximum, um, maximum skill, then I think I will pick them up, but not right now. All right, one more thing that we should take a look at is this here. There is a binary laser. Chain cannon. Man, I really want to use them at some point. Hey, wait. You should have bus saw ammo, right? Do we just take the bus saw just to check it out, guys? I think that's a good idea. <laughs> There's another jump jet. You know, I'm gonna pick it up. Why not? And pirate thrusters. Okay. How many do we need here? Oh, they work as a jump jet in the same class as well. That's right. So, now we have a bus saw rifle. You know what? I want to check that out. I, I need to know what it does, and therefore we're going to take the rifle man. We're going to refit it. This AC-5 is going to go. And we're going to take the bus saw. We have ammo for it. We have a lot of ammo for it. I already had some. That's okay. Uh, double large laser. Hmm. I guess we have to drop the heat sink in order to get it done. Man, this mech is so weird. Maybe we drop a laser. So, if I take a PPC here... Or do we just take another bus saw rifle and go all medium? I mean, this is pretty cold, right? This thing does no heat. Sure! Let's go, guys! That's 300,000 sea bills. Uh, yeah, it's okay, I'll take it. Or do we take the lower one just to check it out? a lot of money. We'll find a mission, guys. We'll find a mission. All right, guys. I, I, I'm fine. I think I, I figured it out. So let's take two taunts for each bus saw. Damn, you go here. The rest is medium lasers. Let me go ahead and put one here, one here, one here. We are over tonnage. Three taunts over. I didn't think it would be like that. Ah, because of the ammo, of course, yeah. Still a problem. You know what? We drop those. Again, they don't really generate much heat. Can we get away with the mediums? And no heat sinks. 
heat capacity plus 10 is amazing. Just having that heat bank. Um, but I think I'm gonna drop the bank. And I'm gonna drop two heat sinks. We're gonna keep the bank. Yeah, that's how we do it. All right. Heat bank, corrosive double heat sink, medium lasers, bust cell rifle, three tons of ammo. It's, I think, a little bit undergunned, but we will see. Or under, under ammoed. I don't know what you want to call it. We definitely go for higher tier missions now. That is a battlefield. Tier 36. I'm definitely gonna do that. Oh, yeah. Let's bring our goodies here. So, if we cannot bring all the manks that we have currently, I think I'm gonna leave um, the blackjack out of the deal. Uh, keeping the hunchback, keeping the stalker, keeping the rifleman, and... Or maybe leaving the hunchback as well, because it's more a brawler. I don't want it to get destroyed. 230 tons. Could be just enough. That is a lot of money that we can take here. And I think I'll take everything. Sure. I accept. Alrighty, so we will take a look at the buzzsaw rifle. And we need somebody with good missile proficiency. And we can take... No, we cannot take the jack. Not quite. But that's okay. Having those infernos is, I think, really helpful here. So, you're overheating people, you are shredding people, and I am doing some th things as well. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the Hunchback is currently under tonnage. Because we were missing heat sinks, right? Don't you dare losing any heat sinks, okay? This is too risky. But it's needed. I need that build. I need this guy to shoot all the time. Oh, and you need weapon groups. And you need to be painted. Alright, uh, apply all. Very quickly. And then we need to put some uh, weapon groups on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna put them in chain fire. I'm gonna put those on chain fire. And I will put those on chain fire. I hope that works. You need individual weapon groups on the for the AI pilots to actually manage their heat and their, their weapon and their damage. Alright, but that being said, let's dive into the next mission. We have eight days to wait. We need money. Definitely. But there's so many toys that I want to buy, so I'm, I'm just going to go with money right now. Salvage is not really even a thing. If there were enemies that would also run the crazy weapon systems. I would go for salvage more, but that's currently not a thing. So, unless um, the, the the sister mods of this mod, the pirate tech, is fixed, um, we, need, we need to play it like that. Because then we will have all the craziness. Okay, let me go ahead. Play it like this. Alright, the battlefield is on already. It's hot. Cool. I don't want to check out the ammo yet. Oh, actually I did. Wrong button. Mm. So this here is supposed to ricochet, right? Yeah, heat management is... Uh, that's okay, I would say. The heat bank is helpful. Just having a very high heat threshold gives us time to cool down when we are not engaged with the medium lasers. But we can just rack up a lot of heat when we are in a, in a brawl and then... Uh, after we come out of the brawl, over time, it's gonna get lower again. Oh, they are sending more dropships now? What? Or was it a... That was the departing dropship. Yeah, they are running away now. Alright. So we have to destroy nine enemies. Interesting. So, we have a bus saw rifle. Hmm. I don't know. We will see how much damage it actually deals. Alright team, come over here, I need you to help me out. Range of them is, oh, 350 meters only. Aha! Oh god, is there another one? Whoa, 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 whoa. They are sending in more. We, we actually built a brawler out of the rifleman. It cannot shoot at long range at all. Yo guys, are you following? Come on. Uh-huh, there's another griffin. Whoa! Stop shooting me! No, I'm not even, you know, in the fight yet. Target acquired. 400. All right, so he's bound in a fight with a with a friendly. Enemy ah, let's go here. Okay. 
Does it even deal damage? Um. Oh, we are getting rooked! What is going on here? We're getting surrounded. Hi, Rick. Griffin. You are overheated. Uh, nope, you're not. Never mind. Huh. I am not entirely sure if that's even dealing damage here. Um, there's another guy coming. There's too many Griffins! Go away, Griffins. <laughs> hey, he's shut down now. Alright, weapon system's gone is the thing I want to hear. Heat-wise, we are fine. Right, we got that guy. Now over to the next Griffin. This is just so many Griffins! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I am not really convinced. I mean, those those things deal no damage at all. They also build no heat at all. We have the lasers, though. And by the way, we should stay on the... on the thing that is the side torso. It's a bit too early. Oh, God. Where is he? Where did he go? Alright, he's gonna punch out. Woohoo! Lots of enemies. Oh god, it's a Crep 27 SL! Whoa! That's nice. And the shutdowns are so good. Guys, get yourself a mech with Infernos. It's another 27 SL. I don't know, it feels like it has no impact, but that's maybe... Well... I also don't see any projectiles. Uh, I wanted to say that's... The, the weapon feedback is bad. It's really bad. Bam. No. I don't even know if I need to lead my shots or not. I don't see shit. Careful with the friendlies. Alright, I'm gonna stay on target here. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, maybe... Oh, we'll turn around. We'll turn around here. He lost his PPC already, so that's good. It feels so underwhelming. Why is this weapon still or uh, even in the game here? Good news is, you can see they have sensor scrambled thanks to our ECM. And that, my friends, means that they have a lower hit chance overall on everything they are doing. Nope. So, there is... There is a projectile speed. Oh yeah, show me your butt. I like to shoot it. Got him. Nice. And now the other Griffin. Alright. Oh, what? Eliminate second wave? I didn't know that was possible. Alrighty then. Now let's go. There is a second wave coming in. So guys, what do you think? Buzzsaw rifle, yay or nay? Hmm... I don't know. I mean, in combination with the medium lasers, they are okay, I would say. They are quite okay. But they're not really overwhelming. Oh, here they come. Alright, it's a full dropship full of things. Another Griffin, who would have thought that? <laughs> it's their signature max that they are bringing here. Maybe we should just, just play the Stalker and build the Rifleman back to a mid-range support that can crack tanks. And then use the Stalker to destroy Max galore. Having the Hunchback as a support. I like that idea. Oh, a second dropship. Yeah, sure. Here they come! Ah, uh, I cannot get up here. Not good. And again, we're gonna try to destroy their side torsos because when they are down, when they have no weapons anymore, then they will just punch out. Also, those crabs are really nasty. That's actually set an attack command. Cool. So far, so good. He lost the peep. That's beautiful. Oh, there's more. Is there a third wave coming in? I don't know if that's possible. Also, I should probably shoot that guy. It's so messy. But that's the battlefield. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit his LRMs. Ammo low. Not a thing I want to hear. Not right now. You know what? I have the feeling that's actually... 
just a good idea to just destroy the PPCs. Yeah, look at them. They, they are losing everything here. The crab is actually dangerous. We got a crab. Um, we have a lot of disarmed griffins here as well, who are not able to do anything. Come on, over here. Cool. There's another one. So, because of the minimum range, it's not possible for those griffins to deal any damage anymore. Not really. Cool. Okay, almost down. Yeah, the damage is really minimal here. That's a freaking hunchback, though. Okay. Give me your side torso, buddy. Boom. All right, we got that guy. Let's help with the hunchback. I am not convinced. Feels like I'm shooting and then sometimes it doesn't do anything. It doesn't hit scan. Ammo depleted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, we got Hanshi. What's next? Uh, three more Griffons. By the way, I think the ammo on the is on the left side, right? So he's gonna punch out now? Maybe? No? Maybe not. Alrighty, guys. What a messy fight. Imagine that with all atlases. <laughs> Alright, have him. You must fight on. There is no fighting on where you are going. No. Ah, what? What? No! Go away! Whoa, he's going ramming speed! <laughs> he is actually fighting on. And that's our stalker being shred. Alrighty, that was cool. That was a nice fight. I enjoyed that. Problem is our stalker is mildly damaged and I don't want him to be damaged because there's all the good equipment in it and I don't want to lose it. So I think I'm going to prioritize the stalker um, myself in a battlefield. I think it's okay if we have more scoot and shoot missions where the stalker will naturally fall a bit behind and shoots from, from further away and we are in the brawl and fight like crazy. What do you think about the bus saw? I am honestly not convinced, but I had to do it because of science. We had to try it out. But I don't know about it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there is a secret perk to it that I am completely missing. Something like they deal internal damage or so. No idea. They have a higher crit chance. No idea. We'll check it out. So. If you have any any info about that, leave a comment down below in the description. Uh, no, not in the description, in the comment section, like, a little bit lower. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let me see what we can get here. We did not really negotiate for any salvage, and honestly, I didn't want griffins, I didn't want crabs. So, I'm okay with just taking the money and a little bit of anything. So, six slots. There is a large pulse laser. Intriguing. LRM ammo, lots of double heat sinks. I'll take two. Sure. These were coming from the Crab 27 SL, by the way. And we made it with three max only. Yeah, pretty good. The funny thing is that I still dealt 1300, almost 1400 damage here. That is a good number. I just, I don't know. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But anyway, guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.